Good morning, Rangers. I'm Erin Herndon. And I'm Nate Weeks. And this is your Ranger Report here through Daily Announcements. Just a reminder, if you or your class adopted an angel from the angel tree, the gifts need to be delivered to Miss Niles in room C-106 by Wednesday afternoon at the latest. The Rangers swim team competed in the annual two-day TISCA TISCA South Zone Championships this past Friday and Saturday. Overall, the South Zone Championships were comprised of 44 swimming and diving events and 523 high school swim teams from Lubbock, Austin, Houston, Corpus Christi, and all of San Antonio. There were a total of 483 athletes that competed in this year's competition. Among the 6A teams, our Rangers placed third overall, which turns out to be the best finish in school history. That's right, Aaron. Notably for the boys, senior Clayton Taylor won two gold, two silver, and one bronze medal. Freshman Connor Kinsick won three gold medals, and senior diver Dawson Martinez won two gold medals. On the girls' side, sophomore Katie Mansker won gold, one gold and one bronze medal, and sophomore diver Mackenzie Bush won one silver medal. The Rangers' next swim meet is set for January 15th and 16th in San Antonio. Drama club members, are you feeling merry this Christmas time? Well, if not, you will after our annual Christmas party this Thursday at 4.15. Please bring a white elephant gift of no more than $7. Feel free to be as creative as possible with your gift. Boys, please bring one snack and girls one dessert. Hope to see you there, thespians. New and returning dual credit forms are due by Friday, December 11th at 4 p.m. Forms can be turned in at Student Services. All schedule change forms are due by Friday, December 11th at 4 p.m. Forms also can be turned into student services. Fashion Club will meet today from 4 to 5 in room C114, Ms. Hartman's room. Now to Lauren Marshall with the World News. Two years ago, a Chicago suburb put an assault weapon ban in place. That ban was challenged by a state gun association. And yesterday, the Supreme Court passed on hearing the issue. All of this just in time for a renewed debate on gun control. So the Supreme Court's decision could give some confidence that other bans won't get struck down. Yesterday, the Justice Department opened an investigation into sh the Chicago Police Department. This comes two weeks after the release of a video showing a white police officer shooting a black teenager 16 times. Now the Department of Justice is looking into whether or not the problem runs deeper than just one incident. I'm Lauren Marshall, and that's what's trending around the globe. Thank you, Lauren. Now, what is Jack Frost like most about school? What? Snow and tell. <laughs> this has been your Ranger Report, here with your daily announcements. Have a great day.